Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A, where you ask the questions and we give you the answers. Our first question today comes from Ryan Murphy, and he says, I'm building a Nissan S13 with an SR20 and can't decide between the Platinum Sport or the Elite Series ECU. Which one would you recommend? Well, Ryan, I would be using the Elite Series ECU because it's got a bunch of advanced features over the Sport range. So the reason why the Elite is gonna be a lot better for your Nissan four-cylinder SR20 is all the long-term learning features. So the more you drive the car, the better your fuel tune, your knock control, your boost control, and your idle control is gonna get because it's always doing a long-term learning function in the background to meet all the targets that the tuner sets. Our next question today comes from Alex Hamilton. And Alex asks, I want to get an Elite 2500 for my Nissan R32 Skyline, but I'm using cable throttle. Can your drive-by-wire ECU control cable throttle? Alex, that's a good question, and the answer is certainly yes. So a cable-style throttle means that you've got a cable that goes from your throttle pedal inside the car out to the throttle body on the engine. There's no computer control at all on that throttle body. Whereas if you've got drive-by wire throttle, you've got a throttle pedal inside the car that's wired into the ECU. Then from the ECU, there's wires that go out to the throttle body itself. So that's what we call drive-by wire. Because you don't need any computer control, it doesn't mean that you can't use an ECU that's equipped with drive-by wire. So the Elite 2500 is certainly the right ECU for your application. Even better, Alex, we've just released a plug-in adapter harness series for the R32, R33 and R34 that allows you to plug your Elite 2500 series ECU straight into your factory loom so you're up and tuning right away. And our last question today comes from Sean Coles and he writes, I'm building a turbo H22A Honda Prelude and I want to be able to switch between three or more tunes for street, circuit and the occasional drag race. What ECU would you recommend? Sean, again, I'm going to direct you towards the Elite Series ECU. You're after the Elite 1500. So that's got four injector drivers to drive all your injectors sequentially. It's got four ignition outputs. So you can still control your distributor or you go to direct fire ignition on your engine as well as having multiple tuning maps. So we can have switches or rotary potentiometers or, or a rotary knob to be able to switch between different rev limiters, different fuel maps, different ignition maps. Uh, if you decide to turbocharge it, different boost target levels, uh, different launch RPMs. So you can actually map all of the tables versus any of the rotary potentiometers or the switches in the car. Well, that's all the questions for this episode. As always, thanks very much for watching. If you've got a question that you want answered, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. My name's Scott, and I'll see you next time.